to both yeah. us. Um, but I say sorry I missed last week. I kind of hurt my foot somehow um, during work. But I'm back now. I'm gonna um, you right now. So, let's get started, yeah? Um, let's just start off and stretch. So, this will be our last class via IG Live. And then next week, we're gonna start rolling over to Zoom so I can actually see you guys, you know, in, not in person, but like I can see your lovely faces and we can like start like really, you know, get into like the nitty gritty and you know, just feeling that that connection with each other instead of like me just looking at my stuff, <laughs> my stuff. I want to see how you guys and so we can have like conversations and you know, just really, really learn the style and just have fun. Yeah. So next week is when we're going to start our Zoom classes. So Valiax will post everything that you need to know about them. So I hope to see you there. But until then, let's just warm up really quickly and let's get into it, yeah? So I'm using this jam box now. So hopefully it works correctly for
joining us. Thank you guys for coming to vote class. Um, so today we're just going to work on elements again, just like we did two weeks ago. Um, but I still want to go back to hands and our catwalk. Yeah, because those are really, really strong ones. So I just want to get embedded into our bodies. Um, and we can always grow. Even I'm still like learning like my basics and just keep going because the more you like get them down pat, the more you can have fun and play around. Yeah. So we never want to get into a situation where we don't know what we're doing. Like the whole point of vlogging is to you know explore their own body. So it's good to know those fundamentals so we can start playing and getting to know ourselves a little bit better. Yeah. So for those of us that have you know been constantly coming every week, this is the time to like refine our skills and just add new elements, just add new personality, add new flavor to what we know. And those of us who are new, this is your chance to learn a new style and you know just get invested. I would like to say, though, there is this great, great show about ballroom culture because voguing came from, you know, the underground ballroom culture um, and now starting to become more mainstream. There's a show that just started on HBO Max, the new um, HBO site. It's called Legendary. Um, so if you have time, if you have an app, um, I would highly recommend to go and, you know, watch it so you can really understand the style that you are coming to learn and coming to, like, you know, share yourselves, yeah? Um, it gives you so much about the history, it gives you what the culture is really about, and it gives you like all the, ticks and, the tricks and tips of what you're getting yourself into. Cool? So it's called Legendary on HBO Max. Just a little thought out there. So, talking about our figure eight, yeah? We're going to start with our hands first. So, again, starting with our figure eight, we're going to come up, right over left coming up, left over right coming down. Right over left coming up, left over right coming down. So you're just making your eight in the air. So instead of like making my eight on paper, I'm leaving my canvas is the air. So I'm going up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four. Right over left coming up, one, two, three, four, coming down, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna do it as an exercise. So four counts coming up, four counts coming down, four times. I'm gonna do it for two counts four times, one, two, one, two. I'm gonna do it one count, one, 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 and then we're gonna go up tempo. One, 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 yeah. Obviously, I'm gonna do it again, so I'm not gonna get us hanging, but hanging, but here we go. One more, warming up those hands. Thank <laughs> you. 
guys are listening to me. Um, but I'm literally doing the same motion, but this time I'm just licking my wrist coming down. So all those wrist articulation that we were warming up with, this is really, really comes in handy. Yeah, so voguing femme is what we're doing. So everything has to be on the elegant side. So thinking about those fingers, thinking about the wrist, how fluid and how articulate they can be, yeah? So we come up, we're just gonna circle coming down. Up, circle coming down. You can add a little um, extra instead of coming just straight up, we can add a little curve here, up, to come down. So you kinda wanna make it as seamless as possible, yeah? So we're gonna do that same thing. Four counts, one, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Obviously it's gonna be slower, but four counts, two counts, one count, and up tempo. You're doing good? Thumbs up if you're okay. Please feel free to if you have any questions to comment, you know, let's do it like we're in person, yeah? So here you go. <laughs> gives me anxiety because I feel like I'm so tall so I'm like trying to come to you but I'm like they really can't see my feet then I'm like going back <laughs> but we're out go up um yes so with that being said again thinking about our articulation with our wrists moving on so there's three elements to our hand performance um one is circles yeah so what I mean by circles anything that we can think of that revolves around a circle with our arms, yeah? So this is a circle. I can um, alternate one, one. I can do one arm. I can go out with my wrist. I can do my full elbow. I can do my full arm, yeah? I can go circling in. I can circle out. I can, our figure eights are a circle. I can make a circle. I can go over top with my circles, yeah? And you want your body to react as naturally as possible. So again, thinking about that Vogue Femme element. Sorry, again, I'm so tall, I can't see my feet. <laughs> While also seeing my hands. Um, so think about that Vogue Femme element, because now we do, this, we do this every week. So now I want you guys to really dive deep into that different element of having that Vogue essence, yeah? So instead of just standing straight up and you know giving circles, how does it like react into your body, yeah? So if you're doing a circle here, like how would your body react to it, yeah? Nothing too hard, nothing to stress about, but you know, just think, start thinking about how your body relates to your arm movements. So again, voguing is all about, you know, your self-expression, so I do this every week, but I just wanna play some music, and I just want you guys to just explore with your bodies and see what you can do with making circles and creating cool shapes and keeping that feminine essence to it, yeah? Sitting in the hip, arching your back. Think about those things, cool? So I'm we'll gonna play some music and I just want you guys to explore. And obviously next week when we go via Zoom, I'll be able to see you guys and you know we can like vibe out and give corrections and you know just have fun. But until then, we'll just do this for now. So just explore and play around. Um. Fight on the one, two, five, six,
So yeah, again, think about articulating the wrist to make it as smooth as possible as you can. Our second element is waves. So think about like the ocean. What does a wave mean to you, yeah? Da, da, wave, ocean, ocean, da da da. Da, 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 yeah? So thinking about really articulating those arms into making a wave and make it as seamless as possible. Um, that was a really good thing I was just about to say and I just totally forgot. Um, again, thinking about our fingertips. Um, oh yeah, our body, so, and musicality. Um, so there's so many down beats in um, like a vocal beat. You always have the natural one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But there's always a crash on one, two, three, crash, one, two, three, crash, one, two, three, crash. You can choose to hit those or you can choose not to hit those. But there's so many micro beats that you can choose to heat to, to heat. To hit. Um, so it's up to you to you know play around with the musicalities. Musicality. So while we're going with our wave, see if we can start adding adding in that little musicality part to it. Yeah? Here we go. Exploring with Waves, which is my worst one, by the way. How do you do? Hopefully good. Um, cool, our last thing, um, which is kind of like my favorite, um, taps. So taps are all about finding poses, thinking about those Vogue magazine covers, all the models and the divas from like different eras and like how they pose with so much like grace and elegance and just defining that musicality again. Pose, uh, taps is one for sure that like embodies that musicality in essence. It gives your, your performance, because Vogue is a performance, gives it that umph that it needs, yeah? So again, think about our taps. So we can like tap, you know, tap, tap the air, tap here, tap, 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 tap. If you want to change it up, tap, 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 tap. You can use your feet, you can use your hand, yeah? So tap, tapping is all about finding those, you know, intricate poses. Um, and again, musicality. So again, you don't always have to go da, 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 da. You can go da, 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 da. Yeah, da, da. Yeah. Just think about finding new ways to move your body. So I'm gonna play music again, and we're gonna do that same thing. You know. Does that make sense, everyone? So with our hand performance, we have our, we have our figure eights that we did, we have our circles, we have our waves, and we have our taps. So all of them should look different, cool? So with that being said, this is what we call our hand performance, all collectively. 
So I'm gonna play some music again, and I want you guys to mix and mingle, yeah? So it doesn't mean that you have to go, oh, we did waves, we did circles, like all in the same order. It's just about how you feel when the music comes on. Voguing is all about that essence. It's like club dance, yeah? You just have it, you feel the beat, and you just like wanna dance. But now you're just dancing with using different elements, cool? So we have figure eight, circles, da da da, waves, da da da, step, 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 step. Cool? Adding it all together to make your hand performance. Playing music. I actually think I want to change the song though, but I can't find it. I'm gonna dish you right now. I'm still practicing as like now, so like I still get like stuck on like different areas of trying to make it fluid as possible. Um, so again, that's still something I'm working on. I've been voguing for like years, so don't get like frustrated if you feel like you aren't getting it. Voguing is just like a technique, just like everything else. Just like ballet, we go in every day and we do the basics over and over and over again until we. It will never be perfect, but until we get better and we feel more comfortable with it, and that's the same thing with with um, voguing as well too. So just keep going and keep finding new interesting, interesting things within yourselves and exploring. Cool? So that is our hand performance. I also want to talk about for like our ladies, our women, or even our men, um, hair is like a big part in voguing as well too. Obviously I don't have any hair, but I pretend like I do, yeah? So thinking about all those head circles that you can want to add into like make it just that extra step up yeah so if we're talking about our hand performance yeah what can you do with your head to add to it yeah boom imagine you have hair and if you do have hair that's even better <laughs> yeah but yeah just a little tip and trick so you like don't feel stuck at all because as soon as you feel stuck well at least when i feel stuck as soon as I do something with my head, my body wants to fall and I go on to like something else. Cool? So, let's talk about our catwalk. And I think I'm gonna do a couple catwalks actually because I'm really in a catwalk mood. So, just basics so we can like learn. Hands up hips. Well, take my right arm. I'm gonna stand it up. I'm gonna tap my shoulder. And I'm gonna plie it. Plie to meet it, yeah? So arms up. Tap my shoulder and meet where my arm is. Boom. This is the level where my catwalk should be, yeah? So my catwalk shouldn't be upright. It should always be in plie, yeah? As low as I can. I'm gonna put my weight onto my toes so my weight is on my heels. We have my toes kind of like, like those bouncer bounces, yeah? All of my weight here. But it doesn't have to be on floor right away, but you just wanna have weight on it. Hands on the hips. I'm gonna take my right leg and I'm gonna step forward. As I step forward, my right hip is going to, as if someone has a string, it's gonna lift up. So now I'm creating this shape, yeah? You're like, bam, bam, yeah? Here, again, still on my toes. If I can get my core together. Still on my toes. And switch left side. Left foot comes forward. As we come forward, our left hip comes up. I'm also using my shoulder a little bit, giving like a little like regal presence about yourself, yeah? Or if you want to bend down to so give a little more fierce look, it's all about feeling, yeah? Down. Again, thinking about that shape. So right now I have no shape, but now I have shape, yeah? No shape, shape. 
No shake, shake. No shake, shake. <laughs> cool? And we want shake because this is both bend. Yeah? Switching over to the right side. And right. And left. And right. And left. Yeah? Thinking about my shoulder beams. And I'm also blind, so I can't really see <laughs> what I look like from far away. So that's why I keep coming close. Um, thinking about our shoulders. I don't know. Let's see here. So I'm not, when I step forward my right leg, I'm not going to take my shoulders to this side, yeah? They're going to still be facing forward. I'm just going to be leaning and sitting to the hip. If they want to go down, so like they're uneven, so we don't want to get like straight here, whoo. Just imagine what your body feels like sitting into that hip, yeah? Cool? So we don't want to get here, here, old town road, yeah? No, no country dancing right now, <laughs> yeah? So you want to go, also, we want to bring our hips and our legs at the same time. So as soon as I step down, my hip comes as well. As soon as I step down, my hip comes as well. I don't want to articulate it as in going like step, hip, step, hip. You want to go at the same time. Step it. Boom. Boom. All together. Cool? So let's just try that with music. And we're going to go half tempo first, yeah? So we always want to catwalk on the downbeat. Down, 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 down. But we're going to go half tempo. So we're going to go down, 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 down. You guys will understand when I play this song. How's everyone doing? Still alive? Still having fun? Still feeling fabulous? Hope so. Let's see. about that cool so now let's go up tempo yeah
Cool? So we're getting a rhythm of our catwalk. So again, all about that personality. Really getting down on that downbeat. Down, 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 down. Cool. Let's talk about our hands. So we're just gonna come from the side today. So my right arm, when my right foot comes out, is gonna circle into me like I'm grabbing something. And my left arm is gonna go out like it's alluring you in, yeah? Out. Switch. So my, this time my left arm is gonna come into me and my right arm is gonna come out. Out, 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 yeah? Again, really thinking about those fingertips, yeah? So we don't wanna get hard, hard, hard. No football players, yeah, here? Here, here, you're soft, you're elegant, yeah? Duh, 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 cool? So we gotta walk down the street like this, same leg, same leg, same arm, same leg. We walk, no, opposite, obviously. So we're gonna do the same thing with our catwalk, yeah? So when my right leg comes out, my, right, my left arm should be in front. Switch, my left leg in front, my right arm should be out. Da, da, da. So I'm keeping my whole foundation the same. This time I'm just adding a little element with my arms, yeah? Let's try it. Let's go ahead, we're gonna do it right away. We're gonna go half tempo first. Down, down, down. You'll see me come back, come back, and we're gonna go full tempo, yeah? Here we go. Ah! You guys look great, but I know you guys look great. Yeah. So, again, talk about our catwalk. So I just want to do a little progression. Yeah. So we just did our down, down, single step, down, down, down. I want to add a little variation. So I want to go. We're gonna go right leg, right. We're gonna go left, and we're gonna go right. So I'm gonna circle my wrist. Circle. Circle, going to the right. But this time my right arm is still that same, same um, foundation. But this time I'm gonna go double, 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 switching. And so I'm going da, 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 bo, da, 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 bo, left side, da, 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 bo, da. Da, da, bo. Makes sense? So just think about really articulating those wrists. Circle, and they both go the same way. So I wanna go right, left, right, right, left, 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 right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. I don't know my right. <laughs> but yeah, so as we're doing that with our arms, our legs are gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do a double step. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right, left, I'm gonna go double, double. So my hips are going da, da. So it does a little out, in, out, yeah? Out, in, out. Same thing on the left side. So I'm gonna go left, right, double, yeah? Again, slowly, 
five, six, seven, and right, left, da, bo, left, right, da, bo, right, left, da, bo, left, right, da, bo. Make sense? Thumbs up. Let's try that half tempo. So we're just gonna break it down slowly with the music. So it might sound a little off, as in like natural, like timing wise, but just know when we do it, do it full out from like the actual music that's gonna be on tempo, yeah? But just go through it right now so you can really feel it into our body. to be light on your feet but still giving that fierce like run race strut of being like this fabulous models that you guys are yeah so then think about all those foundations now adding your own little flavor and twist to it cool so everyone's supposed to look different you're not supposed to look like me you're not supposed to look like the next person and luckily about this quarantine we're like isolated into our house so we can like figure out like our own bodies and own self-awareness which is i guess is a plus with learning new styles um, so you don't feel like the pressure of, you know, I don't know, I'm going to feel silly. It's important to feel silly. This is how we learn, yeah? So we're going to try it up-tempo, yeah? Don't feel stressed out. Just have fun. Um, thinking about those beats. Down, down, circle, circle, down, down, circle, circle. If you want to say that in your head, like, by all means, it's only going to make you feel the beat a little bit more. Cool? Try it up-tempo. How you guys doing? Cool. Let's add on a little progress, a little more progression too. Yeah, you guys gonna be like, God walking kings and queens here. So, we're gonna do it all on the right side first, and then we'll come back and do it on the left side. So right now we're focusing on the right side. So it's gonna be that same, those same arms. We're gonna go left, right, 
but uh, well, it's gonna be exactly the same arms that we just did, yeah? This time, our legs are just gonna come up, yeah? So again, focusing on the right leg. So I'm gonna go right, left, and instead of keeping my right leg on the floor, I'm gonna go up, up. So I'm really using my hips to bring my leg up, yeah? So then I'm gonna start again with the right leg. Right, left, up, up. Again, I'm still using my hips though. This time, instead of doing it on the floor, I'm bringing it up. And we're gonna do that all on the right side. So down, down, circle, circle. Again, down, down, circle, circle. Again, down, down, circle, circle. Yeah? All on the right side, starting half tempo first, and then we'll go full tempo. circles I'm thinking about bringing it gradually bringing it up each time I do my circles so I'm going circle bring it up down down circle bring it up down down circle bring it up yeah let's try it for tempo yeah down down circle circle down down circle circle down down circle circle yeah here we go. Circle up tempo. Let's give it a try. So this time we're gonna go left, right, circle, circle, left, right, circle, circle, left, right, circle, circle, left, right, circle, circle. Let's just go from the full tempo, yeah?
How you doing? Cool? One last catwalk um, progression, I guess you would call it. Um, so we're going to do like a little... So vlogging is all about theatrics and it's all about, you know, storylines and it's all about throwing shade is like how it came about. Like instead of, you know, back in the, ni in the 90s, in like the 60s and 70s when, you know, it was hard for it, LGBT community for... Instead of like taking the violence like out to the streets, they used to just go to the club and invest it into the style called Vogue that they created um, from different people. Um, and just a way to like let out like a great aggression, aggression and um, what they call like throwing shade. Yeah. So just think about that essence of it, like when you're doing everything, kind of like you're like unbothered from like whatever the one hour a day that we can like not think about anything else. Yeah. So again, for example, like all of this is kind of like, oh, it's so easy for you, yeah? Everything is so, you're so unbothered with everything. Oh, are you talking to me? Oh, no, no, yes, no, yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it might sound silly, but that's literally how the essence of Vogue comes about. So with this last um, how walk progression, let's have that in our head when we do it. Cool. So we're going to do like a little great vibe. So we're going to do the first two steps, the same thing. We're going to go right leg, catwalk, left leg, catwalk. Now you're going to take your right leg and go step side. You're going to use a left leg, step back. Right leg, step side. Left leg, kick. Yeah? So I went catwalk right. Catwalk left. I'm going to go step side, step back, step side and kick. I'm going to do the same thing with my left side. So we're going to go step left, catwalk, step right, catwalk, same arms that we did, and I'm going to step left, step left, step left, and kick right. So I'm just alternating, yeah? So I'm going back from our right leg. I'm going right, left, right, left, right, Kick again, can I walk left? Can I walk right? Step side, step back, step side, kick again, right, left, step side, step back, step side, kick left, right, step left, step right, step left, kick. So it's all about finding that essence of like shade. So I'm going to play the music again, but we're going to go half tempo. So it's going to be slow and it's going to seem like a little off because we're not up to like the phrase of the music, but let's just keep it going slow. Just go through the music just so we can fit it into our body. Yeah. still sitting in my hip as I, even when I'm stepping to the right, I step back, I step back, I go kick, yeah? Same thing. So you still want to keep that essence of that um, femininity um, while we're doing our little half grapevine step. So all together, it will look like five, six, seven, and cat walk, cat walk, da, 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 cat walk, cat walk, da, 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 cat walk, cat walk, da, da, da. Cat walk, cat walk, da da da. Yeah, and your arms are free to do whatever they want to do in the cap on the um the grapevine. Yeah, so if you want to go cat walk, cat walk, and push group to the side, push ah. Cat walk, cat walk, hair ah. Cat walk, cat walk, cover ah. Cat walk, cover, I'm hot hot. 
Yeah, so you're all like, you're hot, you're sassy, you're confident, yeah? So just give that flavor as you're doing it. So let's try it from, can we go up tempo? Let's try it out. We just keep going back and forth. So if we don't get the first time, there will be a second time and maybe a third time, yeah? So catwalk, catwalk, great vine. Catwalk, catwalk, da, da, da. Catwalk, catwalk, da, da, da. Catwalk, catwalk, da, da, da. Here we go. That concludes today, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and dancing with me on this lovely Thursday night. Um, again, this is our last class via Instagram Live, so I hope to see you guys next week via Zoom where I can actually see your lovely faces and we can connect on a deeper level than on Instagram. Um, we can really vibe out, we can really learn techniques, we can learn choreography, and that way I'll be able to see you guys so we can really, you know, just get in tune and just really work on new crafts, yeah? Um, but again, thank you guys so much for coming today. Again, if you haven't watched, but if you have HBO Max, there's a new voguing ballroom show called um, Legendary. It gives you so much insight on the ballroom culture and just gives you the background of it um, so you can really feel connected and because it's more than just steps. Um, it's like, it's a lifestyle, it's a culture. So if you have time, I really think you guys should watch it and Hope to see you guys via Zoom so I can see your lovely faces um, next Thursday at 7.30. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. Over and out. <laughs>